Let's take a look at some of the settings to control exposure and lighting in Enscape. First we can press H to turn off the controls. In the Visual Settings dialog box we can reset the settings for all of the tabs. If we look at rendering quality, we see there's four options. But first note when you're hovering over a setting, you see information about what that setting does down at the bottom of the dialog. Notice the quality of the wall as we change the settings from draft to medium to high and then finally ultra, the best setting. If we look at the auto exposure setting, the exposure slider when auto exposure is checked defines the target brightness for the overall image. We can adjust this to make the image brighter. If we turn off auto exposure, it's no longer considering the entire scene and we can manually adjust the exposure. With auto exposure turned off, we can go to the image tab and see the most effect on ambient brightness adjustments. When auto exposure is turned on, this doesn't have as great effect Notice adjusting auto contrast adjusts the overall bright area to dark area across the entire image. Anytime we double click on a slider, it'll reset it to the default value. Now let's make a change to the model and see how that affects the scene. We'll select this wall and Revit. We'll edit the structure, and rather than using the default material, we'll select one from the Revit library. Under Paint, there's this advanced texture called Wall Texture Orange Peel. On the Appearance tab, we'll notice some of the settings, including the bump map, for that orange peel look. Since this is paint going on a wall, we can change the preview to show us a wall for better context. So given the reflective qualities of this wall and the lighter color, we'll see a significant change in the scene. Now let's take a look at a darker wall color. We'll go back into the Material Browser, switch to this pre-created dark version of that paint. Notice the RGB value. Also on the Graphics tab, you can make the shade color always match the appearance color. And then finally, going back to Enscape, we'll see the nice looking scene with the darker color walls, which in previous years and using other tools was much more difficult to achieve.